Yo, what's up guys, Jack here, gonna make you guys with another video. Now in today's video guys, we're gonna be doing a review of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Um, this is the second weekend of the beta that has come out and there's 20 hours left when I'm currently recording this. Um, so for those of you who like are, are really under a rock, the new COD this year is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. No, it's not the old one remastered. It's like the second edition of like the Modern Warfare since 2019. So the beta is free right now. Go download it. Um, PC, Xbox, PlayStation. It's all free. So uh, go give it a try. That's what I'd recommend before this video. But if you're watching it when the beta has ended, didn't get a chance to play the beta. It's fine. Now, this video is going to be a bit different. Okay, this is my review from an average gamer's perspective. Now, the reason why I say that is because I'm not a, I'm not a gamer that sits there. I don't even know if I can even call myself a gamer. Um, but I don't sit there 12 hours a day playing games. Um, I work a normal job. I work like 10 plus hour shifts every day. Um, so the time I kind of get on games is like... For for my for the way like my schedule works is like on like a Sunday from like five o'clock onwards. Um and then when I finish work for like maybe like two, three hours a night. Um but obviously when I'm with my friends or, or my girlfriend I'm I'm not really playing games too much. It's not too much. Um that's why it's from an average gamer's perspective, okay? So just remember that I'm not the act man, I'm not B Dobbins, alright, I'm just an average gamer, I just like playing for a bit of fun in the evenings, um, I play games my whole life, played COD my whole life, played every single COD that's ever come out, um, so yeah, I just want to put that out there, this is going to be like an old commentary style um, video, and this isn't scripted, I'm not going to sit there doing cuts throughout the video like I usually would, um, just going to be a chill, like an old 2011 Black Ops 1 style commentary video um but yeah let's get straight into it so as i said at the start this isn't scripted at all i'm just going to be talking about it so i'm level 30 on the beta um i've probably put in like i'd say like 15 to 20 hours somewhere between there um so far i think it's pretty good um i like it but whether you should buy it, whether you shouldn't, we'll talk about now. So I'm just going to go over each part of the game. So, so the main the main feedback right from the community is that the time to kill is too short. Uh, the minimap needs a radar. We need dead silence. Um, Skill-based matchmaking, those sort of problems. So just to cover those issues, um, the time to kill, I think, could be like an extra. I can't, I've adapted to it now at the start. I was like, oh, my God. I've adapted to it. I think it could be like two more bullets. Like... That's kind of the time to kill. I'll go for like two more bullets of an SMG type thing. Um, I don't think it needs to be. I, I, I feel like I feel like it's fine. I feel like I just adapted to it. I feel like when you first play, you're like, oh my god, yeah, it, it needs to be longer. And then when you play it quite a bit and you adapt to it, like it's fine, kind of like with any other game. So I, I, I think it can stay the same, or an extra two bullets. Yeah, that's as far as I'm going. Obviously, my terminology is a lot different to a lot of other people out there, right? Um, they're a lot more experienced. But I think the time skill is fine. Uh, yeah, at the start, take a bit of a adapting to once you kind of get over that initial two to three hour mark. I, I just kind of got on with it. I thought the time skill was fine. Uh, the radar isn't the biggest issue in the world, but I do think that everyone should start appearing on the radar. Because um, I'm calling UAVs and I'm like not even seeing people on there. Um, obviously, it's a bit different to how it works now, to how it used to work before, sorry. Um, back in like OG COD, but... <laughs> Yeah, I think they should just go back to the old uh, UAV. You know, I'm all for, like, reinventing the things. I feel like with COD, it's so hard, right? Because everyone says each year, yeah, well, why don't the developers, why don't they just do this, why don't they do that? I know what will fix COD, I know what will do it. And then, like, that it, it, if I wrote down probably some of the things that I've said COD should do and it would fix it and it would fix the game, like, a few years ago, they probably added those in the game, right? But like still not good enough and some part of me feels like will like the developers ever like like are we being too thin probably not vanguard was absolute trash that was the worst god i've ever played in my life it's absolutely awful it literally hurt my brain even if I, then even if i didn't even have a time to think sorry like i love fast-paced games but that was absolute trash this like gives me a bit of time to think i feel like i'm thinking about what i'm doing I'm a bit tactical. I love the first, per the third person mode. Sorry, 
absolutely love it. Don't have too much experience with ground wall, but the third person mode is brilliant. But yeah, anyways, back to what we were saying. Um, the perks in the game. The perk system's all right. Like, and when it came out, everyone's like, ah, oh, like kicking up a fuss. I kind of just got used to it, like adapted to it. Um, like the thing is, right, even though what you got to think about from like this perspective of like, yeah, COD each year has had that normal perk system and it's worked fine. Yeah, I get that. They're trying something new, all right? We moan they don't try something new. When they try it, we moan um, as a community anyway. But like, we haven't had a version of COD Modern Warfare 2 where it hasn't been that system, right? So like, you've got to imagine this as a whole new game. And like, we always compare any new COD to any old COD. Well, imagine it as like the first game of the series. Is it going to be as much of a problem then? Or is it just going to be, oh yeah, so they do this different. Um, but I don't think it's that much of a problem. Um, the guns in the game feel amazing. That Hurricane gun, the Scar, um, well, like my two main guns, the MP5, pretty good. The M4 was was okay. Um, the M16 I didn't really get along with, but I feel like all guns were like pretty good. They all held out their fair amount um in turn that like i thought there wasn't one weapon that everyone was just using and abusing um every gun w was quite balanced to a sense to a sense so right the hurricane is so op but not everyone was using that everyone was using different guns from the lobbies i was in um yeah i thought the gun balance was quite good score streaks in the game absolute trash like absolute trash um don't even bother getting kills because it's not worth it. You can let someone kill you 30 times, still not even gonna matter. Um the score streaks need kill streaks, sorry, they need changing. Like that's the one big improvement. Um <clears throat> for like multiplayer, like you need like an incentive to keep killing, right? Like you can keep getting kills over and over and over again. If you're not getting score like kill streaks or score streaks for it. Like, what is the point? Like, you need to be rewarded for the kills you get. And in that game, I don't feel like I'm rewarded. Um, I tried, like, a lot of the score, the kill streak, sorry. Uh, the VTOL Jets are okay, but I mean, on Modern Warfare, that thing's sick. Um, on, on Cold War, that thing's a bit of a monster. I think it's called something different. But on this, it was just awful. Um, yeah, the kill streaks need buffing. Every single one of them, like, every single one. Um, I think it takes like six kills to get a counter UAV as well. Don't know what that's about. Like it's fine, but um, I might be wrong by the way. But yeah, I feel like all that that is where put their time into because obviously we've got a month before release. Put your time into making each kill streak not mental. Like I'm not talking to the point where I call in a VTOL and I get eight thousand kills with it. No, but fucking eight kills would be all right. Um, at this rate, I'm getting zero point eight. Like it, it was awful. So yeah, I think the kill streaks really need work. Um, that's what I would say though. Also, like the HUD system, like when you search for like when you actually go into the game, you click X, and then you're waiting for a game, and then you're thinking, God, this is taking a while, and you click X again, and then it cancels that out what you was doing, then you have to go again. Bit long. Um, just getting onto there, what was long itself. Um, that that's just what I thought. Like obviously, look, it's a base, so there's going to be problems, right? But I kind of like as well. Yeah. The whole interface for multiplayer is very, very similar to our like predecessor since 2019 Modern Warfare. I want when I load that game up, right? I want that HUD and that area to look like different. Like I don't want it to look like the exact same. Like I don't know if you guys have noticed since COD 2019, Cold War and Vanguard, and obviously Warzone as well. Like where it says that like, you can switch between games right on the menu, like it, it's like the complete same. Like I don't know. I feel like COD needs like an identity. Like I remember like black ops 2 because of this that and that the like you know what i mean you can play me the uh, multiplayer startup music for black ops 2 i know what game it is modern warfare 2 i know what game it is modern warfare 2019 cold war vanguard probably not like so i feel like there, there's that it's losing identity and like, i guess it's what makes money obviously warzone is like the main focus but i have a bit of identity to the game even little things like that i feel like just stick more um but yeah that's just what i would say um, but if I was them, things that I would change and add for like an average game, and this is by the way, so this isn't your experience. I am mental. I mean, the gameplay you're watching, I got 48 kills on, so like you judge that what it what you think. Um, I mean, like I'm okay, but I'm not like I said, I'm not putting absolute hundreds of hours into the game. Um, I feel like the audio is quite, quite, quite good. 
like, I like the audio, I like the sounds. Um, I like a lot about the game, obviously the graphics, they're, they're cool, they're great. And obviously this is just from the multiplayer, right? Um, but look, things that I, w I would change, obviously improving the kill streaks, 100%, that 1000%, while well, you're backing out of games in and out a bit long. Um, but the actual game itself, like when we talk about the actual game, I actually really enjoy it. The third person mode sick. Like do more with third person mode. Make a, make a third person mode for Warzone. Like third person mode is sick. It's so sick. Like honestly, I absolutely love that mode. That is that is brilliant. I'd rather play that than normal uh, first person COD. Anyway, I think like it really really works. So focus more on that. Get rid of that hotel map. That is trash. Um, give us some good maps as well this year. I feel like the maps have been quite good. Other than that hotel one, that is absolutely awful. But the like the market one and the one where like you're indoors in like that big building in the middle. Great maps. Two of them, absolutely fantastic maps. Um, give us some more of them, you know, and give us like, give us like off the off the get go, like 10, 15 good solid maps and not remasters, and then give us like a few remasters, you know. I feel like each COD now is just remastering, remastering maps. Like more, re I think in Cold War isn't there re more remasters than actual maps? Um, like give us some good maps, you know, to to play on. Um, some new game modes maybe would be great. I mean, I love Capture the Flag. I think that's great. Um, I love like Hardpoint and Domination. But give us some new game modes. Obviously, I know we've got Ground War. I kind of like War from World War Two. I don't know if anyone else likes that. I'm probably the only weirdo. But I really like like a game mode like War. I know they kind of did something like it on Warzone before, like 64 people. But I feel, I feel like War is a great game mode to do. Um, Obviously, I hope the camo grind is very, very interesting. That's something I'm very, very interested in. I uh, didn't do it for Vanguard. Not really Cold War. And I think I've got like, one more gun to get Damascus. So, um, yeah. But look, other than that, I'm really, really excited for Modern Warfare 2. Should you get it? I'd say yes. Like, I would. Um, I played it pretty much the whole of Sunday when it came out, most of Friday when it came out last weekend, and then this Friday and this Sunday, like the whole day today. And I haven't been bored of it. I've really enjoyed it. Um, and part of like obviously what COD does is like all my mates from school, right, always used to play COD. And like every time a COD comes out, all the same people, even like when you leave school, you don't really talk to the, the same people you used to. You kind of stop talking to this person and that and whatever. Everyone always gets COD and it kind of, kind of brings people back, you know, sounds a bit corny, I know, but it kind of does, like today I was talking to one of my pals I ain't spoke to in ages, had it not been for COD, we probably wouldn't have spoke, you know, um, I'm just a massive fan of COD, I always will be, always have been, um, and I'm really interested to see what they do, Vanguard was such an absolute letdown, and I'm not a negative person, I'm not someone that like nitpicks, like, this needs to be changed, but like, I'll take, I'll take it for what it is, I'll get on with it, but yeah, Vanguard was just so awful. That was, oh, that was terrible. Um, also, I'm very happy. I'm not very happy, but like, I'm okay paying the seventy pounds for Modern Warfare Two. Like, it's fine. I've accepted. That's what games are. I've, I've paid that for COD every single year, or like when it was like fifty. But whatever. I feel like we should make multiplayer free. Like everyone talks about skill based matchmaking, it's something we haven't really covered. I didn't think it was that bad in the beta. I don't think it was that bad. I felt like my lobbies were absolutely fine. But I feel like if we want like COD to pop, you need to make that free. Like you have to make that free. Or or at least do like I don't know, like your main game modes like multiplayer, DOM and, and TDM free. And like if they wanna if they wanna buy more, then like they, they, they can buy more if they want their campaign and other stuff, then yeah, they can do that. But so I'm just being called right now. Um, but yeah, that's just what I think. But listen, thank you so much for watching this review. I really, really hope you uh, liked it. Um, if you did, please leave a like. Leave in the comments what you guys think of it, what you thought of it, what was going on. I, I really want to know. I'm really interested. And yeah, look, thank you so much. I really appreciate anyone that's made it to the end of this video. Um, yeah, thank you so much. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.